Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hey, I'm Savannah. On the channel, I talk about the fun side of minimalism. And today I'm doing a big declutter throughout my house. It's the very end of the year. And I wanna prepare for the next year, the upcoming year, 2024. I wanna create like literal space in my home and also in my mind, the holidays are so overwhelming. I feel like November and onward, it's just a constant inflow and influx of stuff into our home. Sneak free, I don't keep all the gifts that are given to me. If things aren't feeling good in my house, I just let them go. So let's jump into it. Let's make some space for the new year together. I'm gonna to share some of my decluttering tips and kind of like mantras along the way that help me feel super solid about my decisions so I don't feel like I have any like regrets or apprehensions. Let's get into my closet first. And here we are in the closet. I just did a little Black Friday shopping. I mean, it's the best time of year to get the deals. And I got a couple new sweaters, specifically a cashmere sweater. It's basically the exact same sweater as the one I always wear. It's kind of this bone color, ivory color. It's long, it's lovely. And I'm doing one in, one out and replacing a sweater that I've had, I think for a little over a year now. This one's from Lily Silk. It treated me really well. I just worn the crap out of it. I also kind of <laughs> accidentally shrunk it. Don't ask me why it ended up in the dryer. I was like running out the door and it wasn't quite dry. Don't put your cashmere in the dryer. And then another item I want to declutter is this green t-shirt. I've been experimenting with this Kelly green color because it was part of my seasonal color analysis. If you haven't tried that, it's so fun. There's an app you can do called My Best Colors. I just don't really wear oversized tees. Like I'm just not a t-shirt gal unless it's more of like a cropped baby tee. So while it was fun experimenting with this color, I feel like that's what it taught me. Love the color, not the fit. This was thrifted, no sweat off my back to declutter. So I'm going to let this t-shirt go as well and I thought I'd show you my other new sweater this is the second sweater I got over Black Friday I love red sweaters I feel like they're so good all year round they pretty much go with any holiday I love dressing thematic and like to the season it's the brand sanctuary I bought these two sweaters at Macy's which is like so random but that's who had the deals on Black Friday this is a sweater I want to declutter next this was also part of my color analysis I don't think it's the color that I love the most for me I think I like it more sparingly like this isn't the same color this is a Maybe. but if it's more like slinky and kind of like a mini dress or a bikini I think I like the royal blue but as like a whole sweater or like a sweatshirt or a jacket I don't love it that much and this one just hasn't held up the best as I've washed it I just don't feel like my best self in it and I only keep things in my closet they make me feel incredible and this makes me feel a little slumpy a little random <laughs> the next piece I'm decluttering in my closet this is crazy this is like the end of an era for me this is my genuine leather Zara bag <laughs> I bought it on Poshmark I want to say like three to four or five years ago and I have worn it basically every single day since but it's getting a bit worn and you can see the hardware is starting to like tarnish so someone else can still love this i may sell it i may just pass it on to the thrift store but i'm letting go of this bag because i just ordered a new black bag i'm trying out a madewell bag i've had really good experience with madewell's leather leather goods in the past and so i bought one used on poshmark i'll show you when i get it goodbye to this bag it's been a good run but at this point it's certainly not spark and joy for this lady um it's like trying to hold on to me <laughs> a no <laughs> you guys this is like a regretful purchase an expensive purchase i don't make a lot of them but it's just something i wanted for a long time which is this dagny dover backpack it's one of those neoprene backpacks it's like kind of designery i think it was like 200 bucks which i think is a lot for a backpack i had it on my baby registry originally and then i took it off because i was embarrassed because it cost so much anyway i bought it new i treated myself i got it and i've only used it like four times because it's free freaking heavy it's so heavy if i just throw in like two diapers wipes in my wallet it's still a heavy backpack so learning lesson with this one if i'm taking the marie kondo route thank you for teaching me that before i buy an expensive bag i should touch it and feel it in person <laughs> and then the last thing i have to regretfully declutter from my closet is a pair of brand new gorgeous pajamas i'm a big plaid lover especially now that we're in montana i'm like i can wear plaid all year long my mom got me these beautiful satin pajamas but the thing is they don't fit me <laughs> it's as simple as that that's the end of the story they don't fit me mom I love them thank you she included the gift receipt so I'll return return these bad boys that's what I have for the closet I'm pretty lean right now I'm a stay-at-home mom if you didn't know I am not going into an office I'm not dressing up a lot it's so like the bulk of my wardrobe is like t-shirts yoga pants jeans 
and then like sweaters, sweaters, sweaters. And then other than that, I'm really just wearing this chunky cardigan, this green flannel, and like my puffer coats. That's my uniform these days. So this is what we've got for my closet declutter, backpack, bag, two sweaters, t-shirt, and these PJs. Let's head into the bathroom now and see what I can declutter for my beauty collection. We are in the bathroom now and we're gonna declutter my makeup collection. If you've got my videos before, I'm a drugstore girly. I try to keep my makeup confined to this little acrylic bin. And then when it gets a little bit crowded, I know it's time to declutter. I really like experimenting with makeup. I'm super amateur. I just use my fingers, slap it on, but I'm pretty much always trying like a new product by like e.l.f. or Wet n Wild or whatever I can find at a good price. So let's dig in here. I'm gonna start pulling out some things that I'm just not reaching for and like no hard feelings if it's not working for me. I feel like it's all about experimentation. Okay, the first thing I've seen is this eyeliner. This is one of those mistakes that I used to make a lot that I don't make as much anymore is buying the makeup at TJ Maxx. I'm like, you know, it's Maybelline. It's a brown eyeliner. How bad could it be? It was that bad. I don't know why. It just was waxy and doesn't even show up on my eyes. It kind of hurts to put it on. I really hardly wear eyeliner at all now that I'm in my 30s. I really did like a sharp cat eye with black liquid liner every day in my like teens and 20s. Loved it. But now just the way it bleeds down my face is just not cute for me and I just, I'm wearing a lot less makeup and it's just like kind of harsh. So I hardly wear eyeliner now. Next up is this lip gloss. Cover Girl Clean Fresh Yummy a Gloss. It's glossy, it's cute, it's flirty. I'm just not a gloss girl. Like I've tried lip gloss so many times over the years, but something about it I am not, I'm just not into. Another thing I see in here is two of my eyebrow pencils. They're wet and wild. I don't know why I have two in here. I definitely got a backup one. Now that I'm in Montana, it's harder to get my hands on the makeup that I need as fast <laughs> as I need. I can't always just run out and grab it and ordering stuff online takes like a week to get here. A week without eyebrows <laughs> is a long week. So I'm gonna set one aside into my like drawer of reserves and just only keep one in the bin to keep the bin a bit more simple. The next thing I'm ready to let go of is this eyebrow mascara gel. I don't like the way it feels. It just feels heavy and strange. I tried it again. I try it like once a year, but it's a no for me. Next we've got concealer. What I've been wearing this year that I like is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I will say there's like hardly any product in one stick, so that's a bit frustrating, but I love the consistency and I couldn't find the elf brightening concealer for a few weeks so i went and grabbed this maybelline fit me i feel like everyone talks about how it's like the og great concealer but this gave me like terrible ptsd to like the concealers i wore in high school it like clogged my pores when i had acne and i just didn't didn't like it wasn't for me didn't like the smell touch or anything about it so I'm gonna let go of this Maybelline concealer. And the very last thing I wanna get rid of is this lip liner. It's actually been incredible. It's the Essence 8 Hour Matte Lip Liner. It's in a nude color. It's basically been my like, your lips but better, fake Charlotte Tillsbury. I'm not saying it's a dupe, but going for that look. There's hardly any of it left, just a little piece, and it keeps <laughs> falling out onto the ground every time I open it. I'm wearing a red lip like most days this holiday season. And when I don't do like a full red like this, I'll just like do a dab of the red then add chapstick but I'm not wearing the nude lip quite as much. So I'm gonna let this go until I get back into nude lips. And then the last item or items I wanted to chat about are these e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick blushes. I got this in guava and the color is like this awesome like electric coral. But my beef with it is that it has a lot of glitter in it. <laughs> so if you're not wanting to be like a shimmering fairy in your day-to-day -day life, it's a lot. A friend recommended the color peony. She was like, there's not glitter in mine, try peony. And I got peony and it's, it's glitter free. So I don't know why guava has glitter. It just does. Peony is nicer. It's more of like a neutral leaning cool of a pink. I'm just gonna hold on to both for now. I'll probably declutter one later. I just can't decide which which I like more and I am reaching for both. So these are the items I have for my makeup declutter. I still have like quite a bit of makeup in here. I wear a ton more makeup during the holiday season and like during the winter. I just feel like sultry eyes going out. It's dark a lot versus the summer. Also you're sweating, you're not wearing as much. So I just kind of like accept that I have more makeup this time of year and have a little fun with it. Okay, let me grab my nail polish bin because there's some polishes I want to let go of. Here's my nail pop, whoa. Here's my nail polish bin. I've recently gone to doing my nails again. They're not done at the moment. I did have a little relapse. I was gonna say, I stopped biting my nails for the first time in many, many years. And I was enjoying having longer nails. And then I was getting into painting them and kind of experimenting with colors. And through that, I've realized the same thing that I've known for a very long time is that I literally really only 
literally really only like two colors on my nails which is like a candy apple red and then like a ballet slipper pink so the other two colors i have one is this kind of like mauve neutral color and the other is this crimson i love the idea of like a dark burgundy sultry nail i think it just like looks awkward on my hands and with my skin tone it's not not a flattering look so i'm gonna declutter these two suckers and then i also want to let go <laughs> of this random pumice stone i use this this summer like fix up my feet ew anyway i just don't like looking at it i'm not gonna use it it's winter my feet are in boots so i'm gonna let go of the pumice stone and then the last stuff in here is like all my nail files and emery boards for some reason, I have a ton of them right now, which is another good part of decluttering is I feel like you get inventory of what you have so you don't accidentally overbuy, which it looks like I did with the nail file. So I'm just gonna pull out my ones that are a bit used. So declutter. And then last up for the nail bin, I have these cotton balls. I don't like having them in this huge bag. I used to keep all my cotton balls and like little ear swaps in mason jars, but I just found that mason jars didn't really work for me. They were like clunky and it was like a lot of work to like refill. It's just, it's a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move these actually over to like a smaller Ziploc bag that I already have from using like on a vacation so that my nail area, my nail bin's a little more like elevated and tightened up. Next time I go to do my nails, it's more of a cute experience, not just like a pile of crap. <laughs> the last drawer or beauty section I'm getting into is like my hair care products. The first thing I wanna declutter is this Tresemme Flawless Curls Defining Cream. Basically I used this this summer when I was still growing out my hair. I had a pixie cut last year to give it some definition and I would always just do like scrunch and air dry. But at this time of year, I'm not wearing my hair wet and I just was never super in love with the product. Another thing I'm gonna declutter is this mini Tresemme hairspray. I used it for vacation. It's empty now. I also have a new bottle. This was a splurge I treated myself to a few months ago. It's a very fancy deodorant. It's salt and stone, the Santal scent. It smells so luxurious. But the thing is, I'm not a deodorant person and I've known this about myself. I don't like have a very strong odor that I'm aware of. I did postpartum for a bit, but right now, currently, I'm not super stinky. I don't sweat a lot. So it feels like a fake step to like put on deodorant in the morning. It makes me feel like I'm 14 again in the locker room. I haven't hit puberty, everyone else has, and I'm just like putting on deodorant because <laughs> all the other girls are. And that's how I feel about my deodorants. Like I don't, I don't really wear it. And now I'm gonna tidy everything up and put it away. in the kitchen i actually don't have a ton to declutter in here we just moved in so all of our kitchen tools i would say we're using were pretty lean but i do want to let go of a few little duplicate items one is going to be some utensils baby utensils i've had the realization when it comes to dishware utensils things like that if you own a ton of them like for guests or just so you don't have to do dishes then you end up with like a crazy pile up of dishes that you need to work through if you just had like a normal amount of spoons and forks you actually have to wash them kind of on the spot it makes you hand wash a little bit more but then you always are on top of your dishes for me it's like a much better a much better fit a much better situation i find the same thing with my closet having less clothes i do laundry like just as frequently but i never have this crazy pile up i never lose my clothes my clothes are never under wet towels getting gross everything's pretty much in its place and taken care of and then another thing i wanted to declutter was this silicone little like brush my husband and i both bought a new one for the house unknowingly and this is the one that i got and honestly like the wooden hand handles not working for me. Also same, these little spoons have wooden handles. They're just not super dishwasher proof. And in this stage of life, everything is in the dishwasher. It's gotta be easy having kids. And then the very last thing I wanna let go of is like some old Chex Mix and then like some holiday cookies that I made when we had company last weekend. They're just like getting kind of old and stale and we have plenty of other like candy and treats in the pantry. So that's it for the kitchen. Let's um, head downstairs now. We're down in the laundry room now. And I wanted to get into this little cabinet because I can just feel the things in here getting stale. Okay, first off what we have are the curtain like extras and rejects from my little bathroom makeover if you caught that in one of my last vlogs. 
I don't think I'm gonna use the other side of this and this other curtain I was trying out, it just didn't work out. I feel like that's just like the price you pay. That's why I like to get things like this at the thrift store for my home because I don't feel guilty. I'm not buying it brand new. It's gonna go back to the thrift store. It's basically just like a donation for me to like try and see if it would work. So I'm gonna declutter both of these. Then I also wanna declutter <laughs> this tablecloth. I also use the thrift store as like a rental place for me. So we didn't have our new dining table in yet when we had company. So we just used a folding table and I got a tablecloth for $4 at the thrift store. And I don't love the tablecloth. I don't think I'm gonna use it in the future. It's not very like kid friendly or arts and crafts friendly. It's really more like an elegant sort of thing. Oh, there's a deer outside. You wanna see? There he goes. Cuteness. Anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna use this. So I'm gonna send this back to the thrift store. And then these pillowcases, I forgot they were up there. I had these from our last house, these beautiful mallards. I was planning to put them on our guest bed. I don't have pillows for them yet though. That just reminds me that's something I need to pick up. So I'm gonna put these aside and declutter these. And then the very last item, or items I should say, are in this brown paper bag. They are mystery items because they are Christmas gifts that people have given me and my family in the last two weeks that I don't want. I no longer feel like the guilt or pressure to hold on to things just because they were gifted to me. After reading Marie Kondo's book, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up, she talks a ton about gifting and how it's about the experience, the connection between you and that person. It's not really about the actual tangible item. At least for me, I never check on if someone is like using, liking a gift, where they put the gift, because you just don't know if they actually need it or are going to like it. You can do your best with being thoughtful with gifts. But for me, I just wouldn't want someone to feel obligated or burden them with bringing clutter into their house. And that's how I feel about the stuff in this bag. It's just clutter for my family. And it just makes our life a little bit more tangly, hard to navigate as we're living our life in our home. So I'm going to donate this all to the thrift store and I'm sure someone will be super stoked to find brand new items at the thrift store. Okay, let's head into the garage. I'm just going to like gather up basically some cardboard and wrapping paper and then I want to take that tomorrow to like our recycling trash center down the road and get it out of my garage. Howdy, here we are at the coat closet. This is where I set really annoying things that I don't want my son to get or see or even <laughs> witness because I want them out of my life. So this is going to be a gift I got my son for <laughs> his birthday this summer. He played with it a lot. Maybe you guys have it at your house. It's mother freaking kinetic sand. I don't know about what's happening with your kinetic sand, but mine gets thrown everywhere, everywhere. And even though it sticks to each other, it's supposed to be mess free. It's so, so messy. I'm just not into it. It's winter. There's a lot of snow outside. That is nature's <laughs> kinetic sand. So I'm going to declutter this item. Honestly, it's in great shape. It's like a little construction set. I haven't had like the confidence or the gusto to let it go, but I'm really trying to prioritize myself and my time during the day when I'm with my son and just like getting rid of things that don't make me feel good during the day things that take too long to clean i also just did a ton of baby proofing yesterday just adding extra little locks on a lot of closet doors i don't like locking up the whole house but when you clean up the same item pulled off a closet shelf for the sixth time in one day you realize you're really really wasting your time so for me this is going goodbye Okay, I feel good about everything I decluttered today. I feel like I checked all the big boxes off my list. I love making space for all of my new gifts and things that flow into our house throughout the holidays. I feel like just shedding all of the old stuff, shedding that layer of skin, and just being open to what the new year has to bring is such a refreshing, beautiful thing. And if you're feeling a little bit stuck, I highly recommend tackling whatever is <laughs> bothering you the most first. Maybe it's the most like volume as far as like wrapping paper and packaging maybe it's your refrigerator, maybe it's your pantry, definitely take the time to carve out a little time for yourself. <laughs> maybe when people are out of the house, maybe you live alone, God bless, throw on like a TV show, your favorite album, and just like rock out and yeah, declutter for the new year. It's a good, good feeling. That is all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you in my next video. Have a super fun rest of your day. Bye.